When you're the director of a live program, the pressure is on you to control both the crew and talent in order to turn out a clean product with as few mistakes as possible. There are a number of tools used to break down this communication so that it is manageable. The first thing you'll want to do is log into the show rundown and select the show from the drop-down list. Navigate to the arrow next to the show's date in the header bar and click on it. That presents you with a drop-down menu of options. Select Tablet Script Viewer. This presents you with a new tab where you can see the entire show and all of its technical commands. You may wish to split your view and have two separate browsers open so that instead of tabbing between the rundown and the show script, both remain visible, but that depends on if you can fit both on your screen and how comfortable you are with how the information is presented. As the director, you'll want to next look at the crew's shots and ensure all of the cameras are properly aligned and feeding signal to the control room. You can use the intercom and gooseneck mic to communicate with the crew. Each talent will additionally be wearing a wireless IFB monitor in their ear. To communicate with them, you'll want to use the headset and the button that opens its mic to just them. This way, they only hear from you when you route the audio to their earpiece by selecting that button. The director's job is to keep tabs on what is coming up next, as well as knowing the current state of the program. Most technical commands should be aligned by block in the script, but it is always a smart move to look over everything so that there are no surprises. That way you are familiar with the show and how it should go so that it can be smoothly executed. It may help to coordinate with the producer who assisted writing and planning the show. During a show, the producer will time the program and their login will control the indicator for what block is currently on air. That's the yellow bar. It's important to stay calm and focused. You may not realize it, but the tone of your voice will have a direct result on the performance by the talent and crew, so do not get flustered because that could have a direct impact on the resulting product that ultimately gets produced. Here are some helpful tips. Talk with the technical director so you know what processes are automated if they are using memories or macros. This way you don't waste calling a command they have no control over. Become familiar with the monitor wall layout to know where all of the sources and teleprompter are located along with the preview and program feeds. Then, focus on counting in your staff. There are clocks for individual media players that feature the time remaining in packages. Use them to reference when there are 60 seconds and 30 seconds, 15 seconds, etc. before finally counting down your crew so that the talent knows exactly when they'll be returning to air. Make sure the stage manager knows which camera to always point the talent to. While a package is on air, let that person know the next camera you'll be coming back to in the control room. That way it can be communicated to the talent if they don't already know. It's also important to give positive feedback, so remember to be encouraging to others as time permits. This will give a boost of confidence to all during a stressful event such as a live broadcast. You can typically ignore any CG commands to help save time and focus because the graphics operator will generally be following the script and know when to take on and off items. But if you are comfortable with queuing them, it doesn't hurt to provide that additional guidance. The same goes for audio, though you may wish to give commands for when to fade audio in and out and reminders to ready musical bumpers and pads, as well as a reminder to keep certain media players open and low if under anchors. Again, they'll be following the script, so they should be looking for these items too, but it doesn't hurt to remind them. Here is an example of a typical string of commands. Point talent to camera one, remind them to sit up straight, and ready camera one. In five, four, three, two, open their mic, take one, and cue US talent. And Font in. News to report. Well, it seems that the in that brief instance, you heard the director tell the stage manager to have the talent pay attention towards camera one, the technical director to preview camera one, audio to have the talent's mic up hot, and the TD to then take that shot on air as the stage manager cues the talent so they begin presenting to the viewer before finally the CG operator flies in their name superimposed over the screen.